Okay, so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to record a prepaid expense, demonstrate how to reverse a prepaid expense account, and demonstrate the impact of a prepaid expense reversal on a prepaid account. So this is the scenario. Uh, we got the end of the financial year on the 31st of March. Uh, throughout this period, there's been a number of rent payments made with um, throughout our rent account. Um, we can see that both has been recorded in our rent account, um, rent expense account that is, but likewise it's been recorded in our cash book for all of these transactions. The only thing is that on the 28th of February, uh, we paid for a rent bill worth £1,500. However, um, that included, um, or that invoice was for a total of three months, um, 1,500 covering three months. The only problem was that only one of those months belonged to this period. The other two months um, uh, belonged to the next period, and therefore we have made a prepayment of a thousand pounds. Um, a third of a um, of one month is 500 pounds. Um, two, two months is a thousand and three months is one thousand five hundred. So we need to make a prepayment of a thousand pounds. So if we think back, prepayments always make income and rent, uh, sorry, income and expense accounts smaller. Okay, so therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to make the rent account smaller. So the, we're going to make an our adjustment for the um, for the prepayment of a thousand pounds. We do it in and the always at the end of the period. So on the thirty first of March, that's the end of our period. So we are going to record the prepayment. So prepaid expense of a thousand pounds. Um, and the double entry means we also have to do it in the prepaid expense of 31st of March, rent of £1,000. Um, so um, now we have we are at the end of the period. What we need to do is two things. Uh, we have to balance off our prepaid expense account so you can see what value there should be in the balance sheet of this particular account. Um, let's do that first. So balancing it off means that we get a balance in the next period. So on the 1st of April of um, um, £1,000. So that's effectively what's being being listed on our balance sheet. Within our rent account, uh, what we have to do is we have to empty out the rent account and transfer it into the profit and loss account, just like what we have always done. Um, so we've got £7,000 on this side. We've got £1,000 on the bigger side is £7,000. We already got £1,000 here, so the balance carried down is going to be £6,000. So that's the profit and loss. On the last day of the month here. Yeah. Um, uh, so we've done a, a credit here, so we need to do a debit here. Um, right. Six thousand pounds. Um, so what this now means is that this uh, account has been emptied, the value has been transferred, so the total value of rent for this period. Um, is £6,000 and that's been transferred into the profit and loss account. So that's the end of this year. We've got nothing more to do in this year, but now we are in the next year. And um, so what we want to do uh, at the beginning of this year, first of all, is that we're going to want to reverse this prepayment. So we had prepaid expenses um, uh, in the balance sheet. And what effectively we're going to do is we're going to empty it out and transfer that value into the rent account. Emptying it out means that the prepaid expense account is started afresh in the balance sheet. Um, so that won't in impact on any of the prepaid expenses we do in the end of the next year. So empty it out, a thousand pounds, first of April, um, and we transfer it to the rent account. Um, that a thousand pounds. So we've done a credit here, so we need to do a debit in the rent account. Um, uh, 
that's on the 1st of April. Right, so what effectively we have done by doing this transaction um, is, so this is the reversal over here in green. Uh, let's take something lighter, uh, green. Is by doing this reversal, we have effectively taken out a thousand pounds of this period, so the old period, and put that thousand pounds into this new period. So let's see what happens. So let's say that the next on, um, so we're in this new period here, um, and um, next time we pay um, for, um, so 30th of May, we're going to pay for this expense um, for the rent. We are going to pay 1,500 pounds. So cash book, 1,500 pounds. Um, so we've done a, a double entry here. So we need to do the same thing here, 30th of May. So effectively what is now happening here is that we have paid for a new uh, bill here, but because we got this uh, 1,000 pounds from the previous period, we've, which we've now added to this period, um, the for if we just were to balance off the account here on the 30th of uh, May, you would effectively get a balance of £2,500, but we only paid an invoice of £1,500, and in other words, that £1,000 was, that was left over or artificially brought into this period have made our expenses for this new period bigger by £1,000. Um, so the consequence is that you effectively bring in expenses from that uh, from other periods into this period and makes makes the new period bigger as a result of that. And that's it. Um, so in this video, I showed how to um, make um, account for prepayments in a current period and bringing that prepayment into the next period. The prepayment in the new, in the in the original period made uh, the expenses smaller but they made the expenses in the next period bigger.